Is it the Vita Sapphire? And this is Star Shadow with the United, with the United Nerd Alliance. Uh, first, first of all, I'd like to say welcome back to our channel. One of, we've had some medical issues here. So we haven't recorded anything for the last year. If you watched our last update, and you uh, you know you were, you were uh, updated to this already. We're actually this is actually a video from we're actually here to talk about Colorado Springs Comic Con 2018. So this was last year's. Which um, I was it's kind of really awesome that they actually had this at a mall. Yeah, this one or last year's and this year's actually was held, was held at the Chapel Hills Mall. Uh, there's like a giant event center now because it's actually really cool. It is cool, but I do miss the old venue. Just because the old venue had a little bit more access. Because this one you have to actually take stairs and find the elevator. Um, it's not very accessible for like, uh, you know, wheelchairs and stuff. Yeah, it was because kind of Because the last things. convention center, oh my god, that was amazing. That was accessible to everybody. Yeah, it had like a lot of ramps and everything. Um, yeah, actually, it was, pretty, it was pretty fun last year. It was still fun. It was awesome. I mean, um, I'm not really pissed off or, you know, I don't have anything bad to say about the venue they hit it at last year and they're going to have it at this year. It was quite interesting, though. I mean, because, you know, my mom went with us and, and she found it interesting. You know, she went directly from shopping at Comic-Con to going to Macy's <laughs> and picking a few things up, which is kind of really interesting. Yeah, it was fun. You know, you could... uh you could like I mean, like she said, you could you could go you know straight from the comic con. You know, you wanted a pop they didn't have at uh, the con. Go look at Hot Topic. Yeah, yeah really fun. so it was really fun. And that was really fun to like wander into Hot Topic and Hot Topic people are like you know they've never seen so many costumes and come in there and they're like, well, why are you here? You should be at Comic Con. Yeah, like well, you know, we just wanted a pop. Like you know, you went to the con looking for that pop. Like they were fun. Like well, let's go look at Hot Topic. If it's a new one at least. Yeah. It's an old one, then yeah. And then I think it. the most interesting thing is the people who are just going to the mall for Saturday or just shopping, and just going with their families, not realizing that there was a Comic Con that year. Because you know, people will probably already know this 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 year, but it was fun to see the looks in the fa people's faces. Just to see like a bunch of costume people running around the mall. Yeah, well, that was actually really fun just to see. Um, and you know, because it was really fun that that line was actually pretty long. Because like I think they only had like one entrance, one main entrance into the. Uh, Events so that was actually kind of annoying, um, just because the line like clogged up so far back into the mall. Yeah, the thing about it is, is they um, did have another. Um, I mean, on the outside. Yeah, on the, the outside, but you had to go all the way around the yeah, mall. Yeah, I mean, on the inside of the mall. Oh, yeah, on the inside of the mall, then yeah, they had they had like one entrance on there. There was another one around the back of the mall, but like if you didn't park on that side of the mall, you didn't know that was there. Yeah. Then you kind of wouldn't know that that was an entrance there. Um, I mean, they started telling us, and that place started to get like a huge. Line. Yeah, they did tell us after a while, but like, like even Sunday morning, there was still kind of a line in the front. Yeah, the thing that kind of annoyed me was you couldn't go up through upstairs. You could only exit, which made a bit no sense. I mean, hopefully this year they'll let us exit and enter enter to there because you had to go all the way downstairs and go back in, and then come back out from the top and then go all the way downstairs again, which. I mean, it's not that much of an inconvenience, but just kind of a little awkward. Yeah, no, it, it wasn't it was inconvenient. It was like, it, it, yeah, it was just kind of... Not one... It wasn't bad, I mean, because, you know... The, the way to put it is first world problems. It was kind of annoying, yeah. but first world problems. I'm not trying like, to be a spoiled nerd yeah, or anything. Like, yeah. oh, you guys let me in. Because, you know, I was, it was, they were still... They were pretty awesome. But yeah. it was just weird having... You know, you were upstairs, and you could go back, and you had to go all the way Yeah, that's, that's, just, that's the only way to put it is first world, first yeah. world problems. Because they had an escalator, and the escalator, like, led right yeah, down. Yeah, well, it wasn't a real issue. It's just first world problem. <laughs> Uh, but it, I guess yeah, because it's kind of coming. You want you want to go back and keep shopping upstairs, and have to go back down so to work your way up. But yeah. it, it wasn't a, a big, too much of a big deal. But I, I did actually find it pretty fun. Um, and I'm actually looking forward to this year's. So hopefully, we do get to cover this year's again. I know. Hopefully, we do get to cover this year's. Yeah. Last year, we really didn't get any photos with anybody, so we can't really tell you guys how the photo lines were. Yeah, last year was kind of a, a weird year for us. It was like just the beginning of the rough patches. We didn't think it'd get that bad. So last year, uh, around this time, was kind of when we, when we covered this con. It was kind of a weird ish year for us, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it was interesting. I mean, um, you did know, they did have like what was really interesting was upstairs was all the vendors, all yeah. the artists, and downstairs was nothing but you know like the celebrity aisles, the celebrity basically. aisles, the like cosplayers. Yeah, they just had all kinds of stuff down there, but 
it's funny how these it was cool and awesome and I mean I kind of found it funny how it was separated but at the same time made it awesome because you had the section for yeah, each place. It was interesting, but my issue was at least was that the main entrance for everybody that because the VIP entrance could lead you right into the vendor hall. My complaint is that the main entrance should lead you right into the vendor hall. Yeah. Too. Because, well, I mean, if you're not going to see the actors, then you're just going to shop or you're just going to hang yeah, out. Yeah, just because... You're not really interested in going like, through the it, whole celebrity. Yeah, it wasn't. And it's not really a real... Like, it's not like a, like a major problem. But it just, you know, like you said, first world problems. It did get kind of annoying. Having to cut through the lines, the, you know, people waiting to the celebrities. Yeah. Just to get back to the shopping place. But, yeah, I mean, it was... It was I, I did... I mean, what I think... Uh, well, the upstairs is bigger, so, you know, they had yeah, to put the... Yeah, that is point, but... Switch the the interests all the shopping, but if, I mean, switch the interests or what would also be kind of fun is if they switch the celebrities upstairs, but then that's not yeah, just a problem because space. downstairs is too small. Yeah, but it's, I mean, my problem is you can probably put the VIP interests downstairs. I mean, yeah. most people get the VIP badges, get it for the perks of being able to jump the lines at, uh, yeah. at the which, photo ops. So. Which is true, so they should probably switch the interests. I mean, I, we're not telling them what to do or anything, but uh, just I just think I'm going to suggest this because, yeah. you know, if I, if I get a VIP pass and want, it's my point of getting that pass to jump the line, that'd be kind of for me, it'd be kind of sweet to just like walk in and be like right there and I can just get in my line and yeah. get my picture. I mean, you know, like, you know, if they do it the same way this year, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's not a problem, but yeah. It's just like little things we're pointing out that, you know, as a nerd, a lot of people were, uh, we were hearing a lot of complaints from our friends too about and, you know, a lot of frustrations and stuff, but. It's stuff that isn't really like that big of a problem. It's easy to overcome. It's stuff they can ignore. It was still fun. Um, motherfucking Pippin, Pippin was there. Yeah. Um, Billy, was it Billy Boyd? Yeah. I'm gonna play Pippin. Yeah, he was there. Um, who else was there? Doug the Bounty Hunter was there, but I heard they got kind of removed oh, yeah. early. Yeah. Uh, it's been a year, so I don't remember the full story, but yeah, something happened with Doug the Bounty Hunter and him yeah, and his wife. Getting, they were getting really rude and feisty. Yeah, which is kind of sad to think about now after hearing his wife passed. Oh, I know. Yeah, so it's kind of sad to think about that, that, you know, that we didn't get a chance to meet them because, you know, they actually got thrown out before we got there, before we arrived for the day on Saturday. So it's kind of sad to think that we didn't get a chance to at least, you know, meet or speak to him. I got to, I got to speak to her, actually, really quickly. Oh. I, you know, they, I mean, they were kind of moral. If you didn't pay, they didn't really want to talk to you. Uh, she said hi to me, and she kind of said a few things. Uh, he kind of stayed away. She was kind of, she was, she was really, she was okay with me. She wasn't really nice, but she wasn't really mean either. It was yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, but yeah, I mean, most, I think most of the people, the ones who kept them away from them, you know, because I can't say it was them. I think it was their security. I think they had people who Yeah, because they had their own, I think they had their own, if I remember correctly, yeah, they had their own security. I was trying, to, I was talking to his wife and I was trying to get to talk to him and, some rude person came up, like, you, you can't get close to them unless you pay, so, um, nah, that's, you know, he's the one I would just see, because I wanted to see how tall he was, but stuff like that, you know, see if he was short in real life, yeah. but I didn't get to, <laughs> yeah. but anyway, yeah, it was, it was really interesting, um, yeah, I don't know what was there, ex- I love how they had the dinner room, though, yeah, the dinner room was, actually, did like the dinner room was laid out, it was, um, it was kind of more, it was more manageable, easier, easier to, uh, to navigate, yeah. than it was at, uh, I mean, it's always been easy to navigate, but that like, goes kind of easier than previous years. And a really cool thing is they actually had taco a taco place. Oh yeah, yeah they had, they had like that. a food place out back. They had like a, it was a taco truck, yeah, yeah. Um, a hot dog truck, I think it was. Yeah. Um, funnel cake, I think they had. Yeah, they, they had like, a funnel cake. cake place. They had taco truck, funnel cake. I think they had Korean. And, and you know, they they had quite a few food trucks. There, but I don't I don't or a few I don't exactly trucks there, remember but. what kind of food they had. I I know it was interesting and it was really exciting because you never get to see that. I mean, one of her friends bought something and said it wasn't worth. Yeah, but yeah. I'm not exactly sure which truck they went yeah, to. Yeah, but I don't know which truck. truck they went to. But I bet you the Mexican one was worth it. Yeah, I know. Mexican trucks are always worth it. Yeah, like when it comes to tr- food trucks, yeah. you're always going to get. the Korean barbecue one. Yeah, yeah I don't know what they, want, you know what they bought. But yeah, when it comes to food trucks, you're always going to get a, It's always kind of gambling with food yeah, trucks. Yeah, I think the most thing I found interesting with the food trucks, food trucks, is they had food and sweets. Yeah, and I think they had a little beverage place, too. So the one that and her friend uh, went to, I think it was a sweet truck. But. Yeah, and the fun part about it was that it, it, it wasn't like, uh, they weren't just parked in the suite, they actually had like a section blocked out yeah, for, for the them. food trucks, yeah, really for the con. So like, you know, I mean, you know, unfortunately, if you were just walking by, you couldn't go to the food truck. You know, you actually had to have a ticket to the con to get to the food truck area. But I actually kind of liked that, just because they kept it from getting crowded by passerbys or something. Yeah, like that. that was really interesting because then, you know, 
there wasn't too many restaurants there, so they actually provided. Yeah, that's, I mean, they actually did have a, a, a food, a food court there. They, they did court, have the food mall. court, yeah, the mall, where you but, can go to. you know, it was easier to. But it's very limited too. because it's like a small mall. That's, yeah, it's, not, it's not, not a large mall, but it was also kind of cool because then you could just, if you didn't want to walk across the mall to the food court, you could just, like, walk out to the back and get something from the food truck. I mean, price wise, they're probably gonna be the same anyway. So you know, you know, you're not really losing anything. Yeah, I'm hoping this year it's it's similar. I mean. Oh yeah, I'm hoping that the food trucks again. I'm hoping everything is almost similar except for the exits. That's the other thing I really had. Yeah, but again, first world problems. Yeah. So it's uh, not a big deal if they yeah. don't change anything about that. But hopefully it's the same because I did love how they had the layout and and you know I had written. I I mean it was their first year there and they had to you know probably. Start out the kings and stuff. Yeah, and you know, get the which logistics right. Which there wasn't too many, which was kind of awesome. I mean, it could also be, it could also be a mall thing. Like maybe they want everybody to line up on the first floor and not have a big line on the second floor. Oh, yeah, and that was um, the weird thing is that the main event room was actually oh, yeah, <laughs> inside main, the mall. Yeah, main events. Like if you had to get a main event, you had to actually leave the little event center, walk down the mall, and actually walk to like a, um, I think it was like a store that wasn't in use or another little piece of the event center they had like. Um, rent like yeah, rent it inside the mall, but you had to like walk down into the mall to get you know to an event. Just kind of was kind of made a little unique. Yeah, actually, I yeah. kind of did like that. That was like a VR arcade too. Yeah, like. they had a VR arcade, which was really awesome. But, but I think you had to pay I'm for not sure if it was part of the con or if they just had a VR arcade in the mall. <laughs> yeah, and they just put like the, con, the con posters yeah. in it. Because uh, I kind of had a very hard time telling if it was part of the con or not. Like, and you can never tell if stuff was free. If you could, like, because, you know, some you can go to Con, you can play video yeah, games. Yeah, some kinds of, like, like, like Daco Con. Or yeah, if you like, had to pay because, like, outside it said $8. Yeah, so we weren't sure if it was, like, so already was there. Yeah. And we, unfortunately, never got a chance to actually go up there. Because we, uh, we were, like I said, it was weird year for us. We were, we were also photographing, videographing the, uh, the main hall. The yeah, we were trying to, like, get so. everything without missing it because it was a new venue and stuff. Yeah, so. The one place we weren't allowed to film at all was downstairs with the actors. Yeah. And uh, the cosplayers, you were not allowed to film any of them for some reason. Not even the cosplayers, which was weird because Yeah, which Starfest, sucks because it was like a tattoo player. Yeah. Starfest let you, oh. they each let you film cosplayers. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't, actually, I got to think something. Maybe, maybe when I got some sort of tattoo place, but I got I to gotta look because I know they, they had like a, like a tattoo uh, artist downstairs. When I gave it, they were actually actually buy a tattoo yeah. at the con. I remember I was trying to film downstairs, just trying to film the cosplayers. And they came and told me I could not film at all down there. Uh, that was odd. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But, I mean, I mean... Uh, I might have some that I'm not supposed to have, but I don't know. Well, yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll see. So you guys can try and take a look at how downstairs look. But I'm pretty sure I don't have any of downstairs. Yeah. Because I, I remember trying to take it and they tell me I couldn't. Yeah. But, yeah, anyway, it was a fun con. We actually look, we look really forward to this year's. We do look forward to this um, year's. Um... Hopefully we get to cover it. If we don't, we might only go one day to see how it Yeah. Um, um, but we'll probably still have some videos for you or something. Yeah, but I would really love to, to cover this year, have all three days. Yeah. Um, on an unrelated note, we're probably going to try and get more videos up for you guys soon. To the yeah, con. we have found some lost videos too, some lost interviews. Yeah, we'll like some hard drives crash on us. I just had another one crash on me recently. Yeah, we're um, just finding so. most of our stuff too because... Going through the rough patches we did, we also lost a few hard drives that yeah. we're just getting back up. Yeah, like we had like some crashed, you know, when you're dealing with when you're dealing with other personal issues, it kind of takes precedence. We're fixing then, hard drive, unfortunately. The funny part is you get that, and then that happens, and then that happens. And yeah, it's just like, and then like, right now I'm, I just got another one fixed, and another another hard drive just crashed on me. Yeah. Or another another computer just crashed on me. Which I don't know if I can solve the stuff. Second part it. is is that that hard drive that just crashed on you might not be fixable. Yeah, it might not be fixable, so I might have just lost all the stuff that's on there. Yeah. So. So that sucks. We'll find out. But, but yeah, yeah, hopefully you guys you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoy the look at Colorado Springs Comic Con. Hopefully you'll go to this one, this next one this year because yeah. it's coming up. Hopefully it'll persuade you to go check it out. Um, yeah, and we'll have a look at it before. It yeah, we'll have the links to uh to buy tickets in the description below. That'll have the date, the location, you know, um, basically the times because the, the rooms open at certain times. Um, yeah. You know, you can buy your tickets through there as well. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you do want to go check it out. Um, hopefully you um, yeah you enjoy it. And hopefully they have, I mean, they're going to have re some really cool guests. Oh yeah, they're, uh, this year's guests are actually going to be really sweet. Um, they have Edward Furlong, uh, Robert, pa uh, Robert Patrick. Um, and I think Linda Hamilton's coming. Yeah. Um, yeah, they have, they, basically a lot of people from like the Terminator 2 Judgment Day cast will be here. I heard Kevin Sorbo's coming. Yeah, Kevin Sorbo's coming. Um, like, that's exciting. 
Yeah, there's there's like a lot a lot of other guests that have been announced. Um, William Shatner is coming again. So if you, if you haven't had a chance to meet him yet, or if you missed him this past April at Star April at Starfest, he'll be here again, um, or should be here again in Carson Comic Con. But yeah, you again if you go to the website, which will be in the link below, you'll be in the description below. You can find a full list of all the guests that are, that yeah. have been announced. Uh, sadly, because I couldn't film downstairs. I really don't know exactly the guests that were last year. I remember Billy Boyd and Doug Yeah, Lonnie I remember Hunter. Billy Boyd because I was really excited to meet him. Um, oh, the Hulk was there. Lou, oh, yeah, Lou Ferrigno was there last yeah, year as well. he's kind of like always there, so he's kind of cool. He's yeah. Cool to be always there. Um, it's kind of like Sam Jones. Think, yeah, he's not going to be there this year, but... Yeah, I'm not sure he'll be there. I know, I think Sam Jones will be there again this year, yeah. but I always love speaking to Sam Jones whenever he's there. Yeah. But yeah, it was interesting. Um, hopefully we can bring you updated when it's happening this time we can bring it to you yeah we're doing better live now, so. or at least within the week of that yeah happening. Uh, it's kind of hard to go live at a con just yeah. i mean because we you know, tried it so many times but it's so hard because people yeah because or at you you know when you try to go live on here on youtube you know you kind of need an external camera you're gonna yeah. carry your laptop around with you um you know you can probably know. go live on facebook but then the one no one's really going to be looking at their live video on their facebook feed yeah. at the time so yeah, people are like always so excited to try getting your video and they always wind up knocking your camera over or something happens yeah so it's kind of it's kind of difficult but we'll, we'll at least try and get up in the week of i mean we're doing but we're all doing better now so you yeah, know but if you ever want to get a camera just ask us don't yeah we'll interview we're you. Trying to yeah. Do something. Um, but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully you know, she said you'll check out the con this year um hopefully we see you and if you see us and say hi but yeah, um, I think that's it. Yeah, and, that's uh, about it. We'll see you around next time. This is the Vita Satfire. And Star Shadow signing off, and we will see you next time.